Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, and the winter season is upon us. I will say this is the one time I'm not bothered about the winter because it's, it's, it's December. Anyways, as it is a brand new season in Forza Horizon 4, there is a brand new car. You might notice there are some different things with the profile this week. You'll see why next week, but until then, this stream is sponsored by Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. The new car to go on Unlocked is the ATS GT. This is a car that I imagine most people watching this haven't heard of. There are only 12 of these cars in the world. It's very, very cool, has a crazy backstory. That is what we're gonna go and unlock 50% completion to go and get the thing. Um, I've not seen that before. I if one of you guys could just send me a picture of the Forza Thon shop, I'll, I'll plug it in here. Let's go bang out 50% on the winter season and go unlock that ATS, let's go. We get the ATS GT. All right, finally, let's give this thing a go. This thing is kind of a fake Ferrari, kind of a fake McLaren. It is mega quick though, 720 horsepower. That is some serious oomph. It weighs less than 3000 pounds. Like I said, this is a car that I have never ever heard of before. However, it might be a little bit familiar. Yo, these rear tail lights, yo, is that the exhaust running all the way down? Yeah, it is. Oh my God. Anyways, if you look at the doors, the doors is a little bit of a hint as to where this car comes from. Deep, deep, deep down, it is a McLaren 12C. Like I said, I don't really know much about this thing. I don't know how much of it is McLaren. So the unknown little supercar, what is this thing? ATS. So like I was saying at the start of this, this thing's got a pretty cool story. The company ATS. Now I spoke about it in my video a little while ago, but this company was actually formed by people who used to work at Ferrari and got fired, they left and made their own company called ATS. They're actually most known for not the road cars that they made. They were actually an F1 team back in the day, but they also made some road cars called the ATS GT. That was way back in the 1960s, blah, blah, blah. They made 12 cars way back in the day. Long story short, as with every sort of small racing team, uh, they ended up going bankrupt. They ended up getting bought by some people a couple of years ago, and then they made this thing. They made 12 of these to sort of honor the old car, and that is what we're left with. This thing, the ATS GT from 2018. History lesson done. <laughs> Alright, so shall we go do a race? Somebody's like, the taillights look like derpy eyes. Yo, if you ask me... Okay, here's here's my thing. Am I the only person who sees the two eyes as the as the rear tail lights and then like kind of a smile through the middle? It's really creepy looking. I don't know. Is is that just me? And maybe it is. I don't know. Everybody's like, oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry if I just ruined this car for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do have quite high expectations for this thing. We're already basically at the top of S1 class, which is very, very good for us. I mean, we'll see how it does against some other Italian goodies, but I mm, I have a feeling it's just gonna be a wheel spinny, wheel spinny boy. At least we're driving it in the summer, so I'm not slipping and sliding around absolutely everywhere hard on the brakes okay yep, thank you i kind of feel like the mclarens are more put together and i mean they they would be but this thing just feels very very slidey i don't know if they just upped the horsepower and didn't do anything with like the suspension the tires like the tire width or anything but it's almost like they went with the jeremy clarkson strategy add more power and, that, and that, that's it anyways what's the interior look like oh my god okay this is a cool thing yo wait did they they whip the 4gt logo <laughs> somebody's like it's a mustang gauge cluster would that explain what i just did i i cannot look at the back end of this car the same way anymore it's full on ruined, I'm sorry. However, saying all of that though, it's no slouch. I mean, we're, I mean, obviously we're at the top of S1 class, so it's gonna be pretty good, but everybody else in that race was pretty similar. Yeah, that thing is not bad at all. Like, it, it's definitely a little power hungry and gets a lot of slide out of the corners, but not bad. How about we head to the garage and try to make it a little bit more drivable? I think that would be good. I'm not sure if this is gonna have Italian stuff or if it's gonna have like 
McLaren stuff. Let's see. 5.2 liter V10. That is from the Audi R8. And a racing V12. Blech. Honestly, I think sticking with our stock engine might be the best. All wheel drive technically makes this worse. I guess this thing is going to be a pretty good S1 car. We are not on race tires stock. That would help so much. Yo, that barely pushes us into S2 class. I'm gonna put race tires on. I understand that it pushes me out of S1 class. However, maybe with some heavier wheels or some wider wheels, it brings me down in the class. Yo, look how aggressive the fitment is on this car. That would be a legal AF if you drove that here. Why are you trying to keep it S1? I'm trying to keep it as competitive as possible for like racing. Yo, we can reduce the weight down to 2006. That's pretty good as well. So we are literally sitting on the very top of S1 class. We couldn't even remove a pound of weight or we will go over the class. Hey, we've got advanced. Yo, we've got three advanced painting options. Okay, so what are these different groups? So we've got the first one. We'll make that orange. The second one. Let's make that green. Oh, that's the stripe around the door. Yo, that's actually a really cool back window. And third painting group. We will make this one... Uh, what's it doing? It's the stripe on the hood. There's like a tiny, tiny little stripe on the hood. It probably doesn't even come across on camera. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste time driving around this thing in the winter. It's just a bit of a waste of time. Uh, I wanna give it a, a give it a go on a race course in the summer. ATS GT. Let's see what you got. Hey, there's your big brother. Sort of, kinda. All right, let's see how it is. Yo, the gears are very long. I, I upshifted very early there. But it's a bit of a strange thing. It's definitely not getting wheel spin this time around. My worry, though, is in the corners, is it gonna be super under- What? What? Guys, I may have built a little beast of a car here. I know everybody was super worried about the understeer, but it just- Um, you what? You what car? I don't- I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I was like, oh, we're gonna have so many problems. It's not gonna turn. Oh, it's gonna be all over the place. Yo, you know it's a good sign when somebody's saying, is the difficulty set on easy? Um, we're actually on the hardest difficulty. This car is just really, really fast. It could definitely use a little bit of weight reduction to maybe help that understeer out a little bit, but... Um, what? <laughs> It's so fast! For everybody doubting me that this game is actually on easy, I am sorry, but this game- this car is just OP. Like, that was crazy, crazy fast. I wanna- I wanna do it again! Usually I would be like, ah, oh, let's go and upgrade it and see what happens. How hard can it be for the oo car with the all-wheel drive? Didn't shift up early that time. Fantastic. Already at 100 miles an hour. Whipping it past the Mustangs. Fantastic. I think that's what I'm gonna call this. This is gonna be the uwu mobile Hard on the brakes into the corner. One Ford Focus runs it very wide. Oh, there's a Porsche in this race. And just fire our way through. This is what I'm saying. This is a car that just looks slow when you're driving around. But in reality is a monster. Yo, this thing is a beast. I'm telling you. It is way too fast. It's apparently got some good pedigree on the thing, but it's also a mega, mega quick car. Yo, we nearly beat the AI by 10 seconds. We beat the two time. Come on. <laughs> DJ's like, everybody's staying behind you to look at the rear end. <laughs> this wouldn't be an AR-12 video if I didn't go and max the thing out. I want to see how quick it can go. Oh, it looks so much better lower down. Even better slammed. Yo, this would be a pretty cool drift car, actually. I know this car is gonna be a write-off. I get- I, Yeah, we'll just- we'll just go and do another race. I would like to apologize in advance, like I was saying. This is- This is not gonna be an enjoyable experience for our ears or for our- I- I take my second back- second point back. This is like a McLaren, but it probably breaks down even more. Oh, uh, what the- All right, here we go. In all oh, the cornering, the high speed. Oh dear. Oh dear. The jumping. <laughs> you can dream about taking corners full throttle in this thing. It's never gonna happen. Literally every single time I need to lift off, 
to get this car to actually rotate properly. I mean, it's it's very quick out of the corners. We know that. It's got like a thousand something horsepower. It weighs nothing. It's running a huge V12. It's going to be fast. As quickly as that tune went on, we are just as quickly going to take that tune off. And we are going to put the old one back on. Conclusion on the ATS. Boy, is it a weird looking ooh car. As much as I make fun of this car looking a bit funky, it, it's, it's cool. It's different. I like it. I mean, the fact that they used a McLaren as a base, this thing's always going to be very, very quick. There's a reason I like the way this thing drives, and I have a feeling it's because of those McLaren bits that make it go quickly. I, I will say as a whole, I love it every time Forza adds cars that I've never heard of before. I know some people always take that as, wait a second, you've never heard of this car that they only made 12 of? I take it as, Forza, please educate me on cars I've never heard of before. I absolutely love it. Teach me about all the cars I've never heard of and never would have heard of otherwise. And this thing, I think is a very good show. It's, a, it's definitely a strange car. I'm sure some people will definitely have nightmares tonight about the tail lights and the little smiley face. But if you can overlook that, fantastic car. Hey, the Forza-thon shop works now. This refreshes every single day, by the way, so if you want free cars on the daily, you gotta keep coming back. There, there's your little heads up. <laughs>